the meeting is being. Hi Hi. everyone, it's Mark here and I'm the founder of the Arts and Culture Network. I I like to use these video opportunities to keep a measure of how many people we've got in our respective games and we're at about over 80,000 now which is great and this is the fun bit for me this is where I get to put a a name to a face and so I'm delighted that Anna Uspenskaya has joined me for our arts and culture hot top 10. Anna thank you for joining me. Mark thank you very much for inviting me it's a great pleasure to be working with you and to be on this show. Thank you so much and we had fun earlier on today we um we recorded a session for your uh for your public uh your your station so tell us more about that because you're interviewing you're you're going live at noon every day I think yeah we're at noon um Eastern Standard every day and um these are um we have several lines of programs so one of them is the interview like what we did this um uh, morning with you and we invite people from different fields mostly connected to music um there are judges of various competitions there are winners of various competitions there are also um music production companies representatives of various educational s- schools and platforms and we try to create like a mix of people and sometimes we have another line of productions where we have um panel discussions on the topic where we don't so much focus on the particular participants but on their input towards uh, finding solutions to current problems and then we have another whole line of um, productions Um, these are live streams of um, concerts and we work with orchestras around the world and with the ensembles and concert halls and uh, trying to get people on board with uh, doing a hybrid version of music performance, which is, uh, of course, in person in the physical concert hall, combined with including virtual audiences. And just to <clears throat> say who we are um right here, <laughs> you mm-hmm. just virtual concert halls um, was created as a, a musician's driven public broadcasting company. And our focus is in internet uh, TV, uh, which is broadcasting through internet networks. And um, we are also um, incorporating hybrid productions, like I said, and uh, we also launched uh, what we call an interactive internet TV line of productions, where we uh, include audiences as much as possible and sometimes multiple groups on Zoom. And we're able to go with our broadcasting, go into the Zoom and do two-way uh, interaction. So it's an exciting project. We've been working on it for almost four years and we have a large community of people who uh, you know, p- participate and support the virtual stage in our efforts. So, and I'm really, really happy to have you among our you know, members of our network. This is a great pleasure to be starting to work together. Oh, and vice versa, because you're a full member of our, our arts and culture network, which is fantastic. I wouldn't take it any other way. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think we, there is, we've got some exciting things that we can do together. So I'm looking forward to that. That's great. So where can people find more about that and you if they wish? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, people can go on our website, um, a conventional way to find us on uh, www.virtualconcerthalls.com. Um, and that's our company uh, website. And we are a registered public broadcasting company in Virginia. Um, but we broadcast, of course, all over the world, and our participants come from all countries in the world. Um, where and, are you? Where are you based in Virginia? Uh, Vienna, Virginia. It's uh, we're like twenty minutes from the Kennedy Center and twenty-five from White House. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's, a, it's a suburb, though. We have um, actual feel of the suburb with trees and uh, hiking trails, and it's really nice to be so close to DC, but not to be in DC. <laughs> uh, nice. Um, yeah, someone unkindly said it's all monuments and government buildings. I've been a couple of times, but I played in the Kennedy Center as well. But oh, uh, wonderful! Yeah, yeah. I, I played Kennedy the... Center regularly on various programs. Yeah, yeah. So it's a great center. It looks like 1970s, but yeah. it's okay. We're gonna live with it. <laughs> so, for those who want to learn more, they can wherever this. It appears there'll be links um, to you on Absolutely. LinkedIn. Absolutely, and there is another website people can um, go to find out more about our projects and current projects, and that's soundespressivacompetition.com. Uh, it's not a again? soundespressivacompetition.com. Right, .com. Mm-hmm. We'll pop that in the in the in the, uh, the, the copy that accompanies Yeah, and I can send you all the links uh, for that. Yeah. And that's a, so, like a project platform 
and uh, our interactive right. internet TV platform is in there too. Excellent. So we're going to have some fun now, if that's okay. Um, Absolutely, I'm always go for fun. <laughs> we're going to play the the arts and culture hot top ten game. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions that will probably hint at you having a, a favorite in them or not. So some um, some people have watched previous editions of this and to find out what the questions are but they stay pretty much the same but I might mix it up just a bit I saw a little so, snippet I... of your programs I, I must admit but I wasn't planning to prepare because the 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 feeling of the surprise and uh, it's like a stage moment I love it I, yeah, I'd rather it's not much be more in... fun yeah, yeah it's much, especially in the game much more fun if it's <laughs> off the cuff yes right so you're ready for the first one absolutely not but go for it <laughs> Do you have a favorite building, Anna, and why? Uh, yes, I do. That one I can I can tell you right away. It's my home. And the reason why is because I built it myself and all the flaws and all the good things in it are my own fault. <laughs> 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 so my, my house, um, where I am not right now, um, we basically converted just a regular residential home um, into our working studio with a recording studio and now with another space for streaming and whatever we do is our life involves and raising our son with a different layout so as as our life progresses we modify and change this home and that's my absolutely favorite building because um, that's where I can be creative about my own space. Love that that's a great one and moving on for the second question do you have a favorite book? Yes, I always have a favorite book, and that's the one I'm reading today. Okay. And if I don't like it, then I change to another one. <laughs> what are you reading at the moment? At the, today, I was reading actually Bible. Um, but Ooh. I was reading the whole Bible, just a little bit of it. And um, I'm a, a little bit scattered in how I read, and I read usually very fast. And uh, I consume enormous amounts of um, literature. Um, so, um, and sometimes I read multiple books at, at once. Um, so for me, just, I approach reading literature same way as I approach um, learning repertoire program for the next concert uh, to effectively be a performer as an, or an artist. Uh, I need to love what I'm doing. So if I'm preparing, preparing piece by Schoenberg that that's got to be my favorite piece for me to be able mm. to really connect with a piece of literature it's got to be my favorite piece of literature in the moment and um it's not my natural thing to do um but I kind of trained myself because I found that way I can connect with art in the in the most um sensitive way Mm -hmm. um so that that's <laughs> that's what it is and uh, yesterday yeah. i was reading a fabulous new book which um just came out uh by ching um, stubis and it's um uh, a story of five generations of her family female members of her family in china who lived through all the cultural revolution and changes and uh they were detained and they were you know it's a phenomenal book um so it's about 350 pages and i read maybe two-thirds of it yesterday but um that's uh, yeah and that was my absolute favorite book of all times yesterday brilliant love it that's a great answer so we've got your house and that book and the bible um, well and the next book is going to be a different one i don't even know what it'll be tomorrow yeah <laughs> i um there was a lovely book. I can't remember. It's just come to mind when you mentioned China, but there's a lovely book. It's the 90 year old man who walked out, who jumped out of a window and walked around the world or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'll find it and pop it in. But yeah, yeah. Lovely. And I'll give you the I name also... of the book. I, it just slipped my mind. I'll I'll send you the name of book by Ching Stubis. It's really amazing. Yeah, we can make sure it's in the copy that, that we follow. And mm -hmm. thank you so much. I know you sent through some some lovely biography material that I can use for the profile, which is great. Thank you. Excellent. Now this one's quite this one's quite tricky, uh, people have found. Um, I want you to assume that you have been exiled from both the country of your birth and the country that you currently live in for a minor misdemeanor of some description. Okay. Okay. So we leave out the description. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um 
and but you can choose where you're going to live based on your perception of that country's culture so what draws you good question okay iceland mm -hmm. um, nice. um you want more than one right no no one is fine why why iceland though um i was there just once and i always want to come back i found the um culture of essentially being related to everyone in your country is um in a way dominant dominant for how people relate mm -hmm. to each other um because you know um, icelanders are if you go five six seven generations you're going to find out that you're uh, related by blood to just about everyone mm -hmm. um and they have a I think because of that, that's my brief impression. I think because of that, they have a, a very um, intimate relationship with even strangers. Um, mm. It's just their approach. You may well, they, because you might be related. Yeah. yeah, I think in the back of their mind, they have that as a driving force. We could be relatives, we, mm. but just wouldn't know that. And for me, there was a revelation. I was there some number of years ago, um, and um, that really stuck out how they how they even um, call out each other's names as Dotir, you know, like Anna Dotir, uh, like, mm. uh, you know, daughter off or son off. And yeah. just that interconnection, I think it permeates the entire way of relating to each other and makes it a lot more family-like, a lot more intimate. And I'd mm. like the whole world to relate to each other like that. Have you watched the movie Eurovision? I don't think so. With Will Ferrell. With Will Ferrell. I, maybe, it's a comedy mm -hmm. it's a spoof but it's set in Husavik in Iceland um it's it's a hilarious film but it captures all of that Icelandic kind of family mm -hmm. connections it's it's a good it's a good watch Eurovision. I'm gonna watch it I love movies yeah, with, with Will Ferrell it's <laughs> Thanks very funny for Will Ferrell right Will Ferrell yeah mm -hmm. the comedic actor um from Anchorman um he's he's the he's he's the star it's very funny some wonderful music in it as well mm, um wonderful thank you for that recommendation no that's fine now do you as a participant or a spectator do you have a favorite sport yes more than one um <laughs> i like to take active part yeah just one 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 yes, sport yeah. <laughs> one sport so i gotta i gotta um choose between the two i can't give you two can i you can tell us the two and then you can choose one okay let's try it that way so um i like to be an active participant of the sport i like to watch the sports but that's a much less of an enjoyment for me so my two favorite ones are skiing and downhill skiing and long term long distance trekking um backpacking Ooh. And it's very hard for me to choose between the two. Um, okay, let's take the long, uh, long distance backpacking trekking. Because you could take skis with you, couldn't you? If you went... <laughs> Not on the treks which I like to go to. <laughs> no. There what's that famous do... one in? The, what's that famous one across the, the, the U.S.? Um, uh, John Muir uh, Trail uh, that goes yeah. uh, uh, along the Rockies. Yeah, I've been on that one. It's fabulous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there's you have one to watch out for the bears you have to be careful for the bears yeah so. yeah, yeah grizzly is excellent um, so you can do long distance that's great yeah and i now, can tell you my favorite fun. um track is actually in europe yeah it's the gr20 that's the title of the trail and it goes across mm. uh, corsica north to south across the entire ridge of Ooh. corsica and it's 182 wow. kilometers of absolutely grueling scrambling terrain and uh, oh. I love it enough. I've done it twice. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, no. I walk. Yeah, I can walk on sand or flat. Would be nice. <laughs> and I, and trekking, in, trekking in Holland would be my idea of fun because it's going to be flat. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't excellent. Mind, I don't okay, mind. now okay. this one's quite tricky. Um, I'm going to res I'm going to limit you to one musical genre for the rest of your life. Uh, what's, it going what's it going to be? You're an autocrat, aren't you? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> one musical genre. Yeah, one type of music only. Yeah. Film. Film music. Mm-hmm. Wow. Interstellar, the movie, is the only movie I watch for the music. You see how interesting. And I'm a classical pianist. You would say, oh, Beethoven. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You can I mean you could have chosen classical music, but that's as a genre, but that's that might not have included film. So Yeah, film it music, wouldn't right? include film at le- at, le- at least in most people's minds, it would not. And um I, um are you asking about favorite composer ever in this game? No, no but I I would love to know. Mhm. Uh my absolutely favorite composer of all times is Bach. And okay. Uh, 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 I'm a big fan of tracing, and I probably I could be seeing ghosts, but um, uh, it's one of my favorite pastimes: tracing Bach's approach to composition and epic, especially. I think Bach was one of the earliest epic composers. Well, there were some in the Renaissance mm. time, but anyway, I'd mm. like to. I, I love I love tracing that going through, you know, epic opera of Wagner and them. Not only Wagner, there were mm. others um, in that same uh, style. And then, uh, to me, there's a c- clear continuation of that into the film and game music. And I firmly mm. believe being Bach, being um, as businessman as he was today, he would be composing for game mm. because that's where the money yeah. is, and great music yeah. goes in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've got it. I've got some on my playlists. Um, the, found, the the soundtrack to the computer game Civilization is beautiful. It's been performed yeah. live, and it's, it's it is beautiful. I'll 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 send you a link. Yeah, um, League of Legends. One of my friends and colleagues actually was in the com- com- composing and um, recording team for that one. Uh, they did it mm. in Boston with two three orchestras, and she was a, she's a violinist, Cindy Cameron. And she mm. did um I, impersonation of one of the characters in there, uh, the music track of it. I don't think mm. they did a CGI of her, but um so yeah, and it's incredible the kind of talent and music which goes into that. Yeah, my brother was very fortunate. He's a cellist, and he was in the London Philharmonic Orchestra when they recorded the score for Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah. So oh my God, that's. So I often good. he he can now tell people you've probably already heard me play. <laughs> mm-hmm. play it <laughs> yeah. 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 what about a favorite play or musical anna la miserable yeah nice i saw that when it was in the barbican before it moved to the west end because i was studying at the guildhall school of music and mm-hmm. that was it i managed to get in for a for one of their performances I think you have to remember to go to the loo before it starts because I remember the first uh-huh. half, an hour and three quarters long. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they should tell you, but they don't. <laughs> they no, they don't. In. You're right. <laughs> and what about a favorite film of all times? I should have watched your show more <laughs> to prepare <laughs> with a favorite film at least. I love film so much; it's just so hard to choose mm. favorite film of all times. Um. Or one you can watch again and again. Or one you can't start watching and stop watching. Mm -hmm, I understand. Um, Can I choose a director? Mm -hmm. Uh, Tarkovsky. Okay. I can watch those movies um, over and again. Yeah. Nice. Um, And what about... Favorite, uh, we no, that was the, that was the movie one. With okay, we've had fun today. So, but apart from me, who was the last person to make you laugh? <laughs> That's again you, right? I just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Jennifer and James made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, they did. They made me laugh as well earlier on, which is great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. Thank you so much for your arts and culture hot top 10, Anna. Um, we're going to play the, um, was that fun? It was so much fun. Good. We're yeah, going to I wish play we had the, a game um... like that for every day. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to play the this or that game. Now this was um, inspired by a TV show that was on when I was a kid. They would show a celebrity 
Um, and it would look as though he was being interviewed by a computer and the computer was staring at him and the computer would give him one or the other and he had to choose one, she or he. Mm -hmm. So you can only have one of these two things and it's fast paced and instinctive. Okay. So mm, okay. Are you, are you ready? Over, don't overthink, right? Don't <laughs> overthink it. Tea or yes, coffee? Sir. Tea or coffee? Tea. Radio or television? Television. Car or motorcycle? Car. Comedy or horror? Comedy. Concert hall or sports stadium? Concert hall. Cat or dog? Dog. Test the water or dive in at the deep end? Dive in it with the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> um, orange juice, bits or no bits? Bits. A library or a museum? Library. Make uh, Beethoven or Mozart? Beethoven. Shower or bath? Shower. Cooking or being cooked for? Cooking. Fiction or non-fiction? Wow, I get mm. stuck. I don't even breathe. I stop mm. breathing. <laughs> oh, mm. this is a hard one. Yeah. How about fictitious nonfiction? <laughs> so I, I what scientific expect... fiction? Scientific fiction. <laughs> well, there we go. So it's fiction with a basis in science. There we go. <laughs> shopping, you... on... yeah. shopping online or shopping in store? Shopping online. Reggae or salsa? Salsa. Indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. That was fast. I was expecting that. Um, <laughs> Android or iPhone? iPhone. Start immediately or wait until the last minute? Start immediately. You are so not like me. I'm I'm not a starter. I'm a fin I'm not a finisher in life. I'm a starter, but I'll always leave it to the last minute. Um, <laughs> science or history? Science. New York or Los Angeles? New York. Black or white? White. Circle or square? Circle. Early morning or late night? Early morning. Messy desk or tidy desk? Messy desk. Oh. <laughs> um, see the future. Very messy or... desk. <laughs> Go for it. See the future or change the past? See the future. Sight or sound? Tricky one. That's a tricky one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I love film. And that kind of has to have mix. <laughs> sight yeah. or sound? Sight or sound? I guess sight. Okay. Um, bedroom door, open or closed? Open. <laughs> zombies or vampires oh come on <laughs> vampires <laughs> red or white wine red batman or superman how about they fly together huh <laughs> okay batman <laughs> numbers or words oh come on mark what happens to all these people who have their uh you know both sides of brain really interconnected I they don't have a space for the answer and i'm the one making i, I function best in the in, in between the two lobes mm. <laughs> okay so uh you said words or numbers right yeah okay well i'm gonna have to tell you i choose in the moment and sometimes it's words sometimes it's numbers i can't have like a predetermined okay. choice but right. uh, yeah um <laughs> Rare or well done? Rare. Basketball or baseball? Baseball. Mild or spicy? Mild. Did I surprise you? Yeah. <laughs> Opera or chamber music? Again, are you asking me of playing it or me of sitting and listening to it? It's existence in our world. 
Oh, existence in our world. You mean I'm going to be like a god? Okay, chop the cla- the, the chamber music yeah. and just leave the opera or get rid of the, of the yeah. all, all those uh, screaming ladies and leave the um, opera. <laughs> okay, um, this is fun. So we're going to do a few more. Um, okay, it's fun. Uh, whiskey or rum? Rum. Lang Lang or Yuja Wang? Yuja. Uh, stripes or spots? What if I don't care for either? Mm, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet or savory snacks? Savory. Um, traveling or staying at home? It's a hard one. Mm. It's a really hard one. Mm. Especially, you know, I have this mentality of living in the moment. Mm. For someone who lives in the moment, some of those choices are just... Tricky. Tricky because, um, you know, you're uh, instinctively... as a. Uh, 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 it's just a feedback to you for the question. Instinctively, at least, I am uh, seeing those questions as, okay, I'm going to determine that for myself and the world for the rest of the world. And of course, it's silly, so I cut mm. that out. But then <laughs> there's, um, it's hard to put the timing in that. I know, it's a tricky really? one, but it, uh, yep. in the moment, if you have in the to moment, health, today. in the moment. Today, in the moment, travel. Yes, travel, nice. Um, abstract or realistic art? Abstract. Photography or painting? Photography. Sculpture or ceramics? Sculpture. Impressionism or cubism? Impressionism. Kandinsky or Matisse? Matisse. Black and white or color photography? color brilliant um and finally shakespeare or chekhov shakespeare brilliant. <laughs> i should be the patriot right i love yeah. chekhov so anna thank you more. <laughs> <laughs> this has been great fun thank you so much for doing that i know we're going to have a further chat but in the meantime i just wanted to thank you for being one of our full members thank you for doing this today and the links will be everywhere uh, where this appears Thank you, Mark, very much for doing this. It was a lot of fun. And I hope we get to do it in person someday. (laughs) 